Once again, Dallas, I'm very, very privileged and honored to have Minakshi Shushadri right here at the studios of Fun Asia Radio 104.9 FM. I'm Moody Akhtar, and this show is produced by Vishali Thakkar, Minakshi Shushadri. Minakshi Shushadri Mysore is a well-known actress, dancer from India. She has been crowned Miss India in the 1981 contest in Eve's Wag Weekly magazine. She has established herself as one of Hindi cinema's leading actresses from the 1980s and 1990s, acknowledged for several of her performances, her beauty, and her accomplished dancing. She has worked in over 80 Bollywood movies, ranging from comedy and drama to romance, and with renowned directors and co-stars. Some of her memorable and successful films have been Hero, Mary Jung, Swati, Dehlis, Dekai, Inam, Das Hazar, Satyame Jevate, Germ, Shensha, Ghail, Damini, Duet, and Gatha. Once again, Dallas, Minakshi Shushadri at the studios of Fanesha Radio. So, very, a very warm welcome, good evening, Minakshi, to you, and welcome to Fanesha Radio. Thank you, Moody. Um, thank you for having me on the show. And once again, uh, we would start, Minakshi, a lot of folks uh, in DFW and around the world are very excited about hearing your voice, hearing from you, and uh, they've been missing you. So where did you start? Where was your childhood? How did, uh, where did you grow up? And tell us a little bit about your journey from your childhood. Um, I was born in a very small township called Sindri in Bihar, which is now called Jharkhand. It was a cosmopolitan, cosmopolitan township. There were people from all over India settled there. And my mother was involved a lot in the community, in the arts and culture. So I grew up with music, dance, drama, uh, sports. Uh, it was fantastic. Um, I learned to dance so young that my first stage performance was when I was four. And uh, at the age of seven, we were transferred to Delhi. Now, Delhi was a big city and it scared me. I couldn't even think of crossing the roads. It was after being in a small town where everybody knew everybody. Schooling in Delhi was in a convent school. A lot of discipline, a lot of prayers. I loved it. And of course the dancing continued. I was better in dancing than in my studies. Oh, wow. I mean, that, that, I don't think it surprises any of the listeners either. So, uh, I entered contest inter-school competitions and won the best prize every year. So, one year, after three years of winning the title, the organizers requested my school principal that please ask Shashikala, which is what my name was at that time, Please ask her not to take part this year. Nobody else gets a chance. Wow. So, so uh, I did not get conceited. I was just a little sad that I was losing this opportunity. I learned four dance styles, Moody. I started with Bharatnatyam because that's what my mother taught me. But I was so excited by classical dance. And India has such a rich and vast heritage. There are eight styles of dance two styles of music, and so many folk and regional variations. Wow, I wanted to learn it all, absorb it all, and become proficient in it. It was a tall order, but I got great teachers, and um, I learned Kuchipudi, Kathak, Odissi, and each of those styles marked a stage of development in my life. And, and a lot of dedication and discipline, right? I mean, four dance styles, and to master them, it takes a lot. There is a lot of military discipline. Absolutely. Steadfast focus. Don't look anywhere but at the goal. And that's how I grew up. And so I was a little bit of a very serious, nerdy person. <laughs> Didn't make many friends. Kind, kind of an introvert. I just blossomed when I danced and when I sang. And... Um, I was kind of a very pleasant, loving, friendly person um, to those who I was comfortable with. And they 
encouraged me. They said, you're doing dancing, why don't you try modeling? So from dancing to modeling. And I just want to stick to that line you just said, Dallas, listeners of Fanesha Radio, just stick to the goal. Forget all the distraction if you want to get somewhere in life. One of the leadership lessons right here. Go, Milakshi. Yeah, it's like the bull's eye. You want to get that central point in it every time. In Mahabharata, Dronacharya, the guru, is teaching the Pandavas and the Kauravas warfare and weaponry. One day they're learning how to shoot the bow and arrow. He asks each one of them, there's this bird on the tree, I want you to shoot the eye of that bird. And he asks each one, what do you see? One person said, oh, I see the whole land, the trees and all the flowers. Another person said, oh, I see the tree and there's a bird on it. And he asked Arjun, what do you see? He said, I see the eye of the bird. Wow. So that's the focus. What a need. brilliant example. Mm -hmm. and, and very profound. Modeling was fun. I did stills. I did ramp modeling. Uh, the top models of Delhi groomed me and taught me because classical dance on stage is one thing. Modeling and fashion is a totally different world. I think that kind of prepped me for the entertainment world. Wow. So, really. so from poor dancing mastery to modeling mastery, now getting ready for the entertainment world. Let's go there. Yeah. So I finished my 12th class. High school was done. I was waiting for my exam results to come it would take few months what to do with my time so i decided to do shorthand those days you had wow. typewriters right wow. so shorthand classes i tailoring classes and one day we saw a flyer my mom and i for east weekly women's magazines miss india beauty contest regional semi-final contest so mom and i looked at each other and she said you want to try it <laughs> and I was like, sure, why not? Let's see what happens. So I took part in the contest in Delhi and there were two categories that year. There was Miss India and there was Miss Young India. Oh, wow. Okay. So I won the Miss Young Delhi. Miss Young Delhi, mm -hmm. wow. But in the finals, which took place in Mumbai, I said, I'm not confident of getting anywhere. The Bombay girls are so sophisticated, so fantastic, so experienced. I'm just going there for the trip. My elder sister lives in Bombay. I will get to meet her, spend time with her. I'm getting a round trip, air free ticket. So I'm set. Well, well absolutely. <laughs> Very exciting. It was exciting and I took it as a big joke just to have fun. Yeah. And I think that attitude helped me. Sometimes you have to take life not that seriously. Prepare, get ready, but when it comes to actually doing the job, relax. Don't worry about the final results. As long as you know your work and you just go and have fun. So, once I was in Mumbai and we were in this big posh five-star hotel and I saw all the girls from different parts of India. I was like, I want to know them. What do they feel? How are they reacting to this whole situation? And they were all like, why is this girl annoying us with the conversations and stuff? And they were kind of keeping me at a distance. And um, the day of the performance of the actual contest, we were all supposed to do our own makeup. Yeah. Oh, wow. So yeah. there was no makeup help. Yeah, but there was help for hair, thankfully. And I had lovely hair, Moody. Yes, I'm my sure. Hair, I, I know. My hair was straight and long till my hips. Lovely, thick hair, which I miss now. <laughs> On the stage, I was just connecting with the audience. I was having fun. I was making eye contact with people. I was smiling at the judges, very confident. Wow. I had been on stage from the age of four. Absolutely. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. And uh, that was... The confidence you had. The confidence I had. And it had. came from the grassroots. It came from the grassroots. Right words, Moody. And when they finally announced that I was Miss India. Wow. <laughs> woo! I was like, 
have I heard this wrong? Is that really me that they're talking about? And I was like, no, I should be Miss Young India. I was Miss Young Delhi. They said, no, you are 17. You qualify for both categories, both age categories. And we feel you are the best candidate for Miss India. Wow. So what I was a, like, okay. What a moment. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. Now, my sister was in the audience. She was jumping up and down, shaking her neighbors in the uh, adjacent seats and saying, that's my sister, that's my sister. And um, I think that was Thursday or a Friday. Those days, Bombay Television had something called Saturday News. Usually news used to be 10 minutes, but on Saturdays, it was a special edition. It would be for 20 minutes. Okay. And they would have special features. So they featured me, oh, Miss wow. India, wow. on the show. And I had a great time. I was like this in front of a mic. And I was like snapping my fingers and <laughs> <laughs> laughing. And the personality really came out. I didn't realize it. But somebody who was watching it realized it, and that somebody was Manoj Kumar, the great producer, director, writer, editor. And uh, he saw me and said, Who's this girl? I'm introducing a new girl for my next film, and I want her. Wow. How do I contact her? So they said, Oh, this is the East Weekly sh uh, fashion show and beauty contest. So he contacted the East Weekly office. They gave him my sister's number. His uh, production manager called my sister, said, can you meet Manoj Kumar? It's about a film offer. So me and my sister are looking at India. I just became this India. And this overnight, changes. overnight changes. You know, when life uh, takes over, you just flow with it sometimes. And I flow with it. Went to meet Manoji in his house, huge, beautiful bungalow he had in Deuce Lille Parley Ski in wow. Mumbai. And I was so intimidated. One weekend, so, it's happening. One weekend. Uh, a girl from Delhi. A girl from Delhi. Came to have fun. Doing tailoring classes. <laughs> so he looked at me and he said famous words. Shashikala, I can see what the camera will see in you. I don't need to take a screen test. Oh. If you say yes, you are in. What? That's it. I said, ah, oh, um, uh. So all my questions are gone now. I don't have anything to ask. But yeah, carry on. I said, I have to ask my parents. I can't do anything without their permission, but I am interested. I always wanted to know what filmmaking was about. And to act in front of a camera and people see me on the big screen. Wow. That would be a great experience. I would at least like to do one movie. I don't think I have a future after that, but this offer is coming to me on, on its own. Opportunity is knocking at my door and I haven't even tried to open the door on my own. Sometimes that happens, Nubi. We have to recognize opportunities. So, listeners of Panesha Radio, we are right here talking to Minakshi Shushadri, the famous Bollywood actress who is live at the studios of Panesha. On a leader's journey, I'm Moody after this show is produced by Vishali Thakkar. An amazing story. Carry on, Minakshi. I went back to Delhi. I had to convince my parents. Now here's where choices in life for a leader become so crucial. You have to think, weigh pros and cons. Um, there, are, there is decision making and it is a challenge. I had to convince my parents that I would not stray from any moral grounds. Oh no, girls in the movie business, oh, oh, it's a bad scene. Uh, my father said, I don't want you to stop studying. Your education is important. I said, what if I promise I'll do college also? Wow. How will you do college if you're shooting? I said, I'll do an external student correspondence course. It's the same course as regular students, only I could study on my own at home. Okay, but I don't want to be going anywhere alone and you're too young for that. I said, okay, mom can stay with me and we can go everywhere together. Wow. What anyway, they all always pay for escorts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I think I managed to convince my parents and I told them I have been trained my whole life to be an artist, to be an entertainer. 
and this opportunity will not come a second time don't let me lose this opportunity he said you're very young you're very impressionable you're very naive and i said i have more with me huh. i think i can wow. tackle the world so sometimes leaders have to have the right team people on their side who can help them hold their hand and take them through that journey wow. what what a big word it is right i mean team mom and you mm-hmm. made 1 plus 1 11 mm-hmm. so whole team doing it together carry on so there i was shooting for a movie called painter babu in the cold of simla wearing a knotted choli and short red hot pants wow. <laughs> yeah that's what you wear in the snow of, of course, course. <laughs> in bollywood <laughs> yes. so i learned some lesson very quickly in the movie business glamour works entertainment works especially for a heroine you have to look beautiful dazzling and win the hearts of the audience especially all the guys yes you are you are you are absolutely right about that as well yeah as a newcomer nobody's expecting you to do very serious roles histrionics drama they want you to do light romantic glamorous roles and that's what i did too one movie was not completely finished that i got an offer for the second my parents told me you said only one movie <laughs> i said this offer is coming from subhash kai he's made great movies he's just made vidhata wow. with dilip kumar oh, I, i love Kapoor. i love vidhata yeah so i said these made movies like cars which i love please let me try this and it's the role of a dancer <laughs> what else can you what ask for can you ask for so my parents said do you know what this could lead to you're taking a step forward are you sure this could become a career <laughs> a career. are you ready for it are you going to meet people more than half the way and not backtrack ki matlab chhalang maar liya to maar diya so i said i don't know but i want to do this yeah i was young you know i didn't know all these uh, you were young but you were a leader from 17 the things you have the decisions you made the choices you had the the negotiation you had with your parents and and the directors you are you were a leader right at that point as well mm-hmm. well so one thing led to another several movies several hit movies several flop movies too and that's another thing you learn a leader may not always succeed may not always have things his or her way but you learn you grow and you try not to repeat the mistakes and that's what i did so there were ups there were downs but i had the fortune of working with top producers directors actors music directors you name it i worked with them and i think a lot of it was because of who i am as a person i'm very i mean I, i'm saying it myself it should look like i'm just complimenting myself no, no, but, no. but i'm very genuine i'm very honest i'm very hard working and i'm talented and and hearing that i i can vouch for it right here talking mm-hmm. to you whatever you're saying coming from your heart and and there's a story behind it, what you're saying so you mentioned actor actresses so many talented stars anybody still stood out while doing a movie anybody you preferred more than the other or any favorite actor any favorite hero well my first major success was the movie hero and working with jackie was a absolute pleasure during the mohurat of the movie people said jackie looks so modern and western and so you know bindas like, bindas <laughs> and he looks like a model too and this girl looks like this indian desi <laughs> traditional thing. what is swash they doing but um like work the chemistry worked opposite sometimes work together very well so i would say jackie is a favorite um uh, i did maximum number of films with anil kapoor and um he is a fantastic actor of course he preferred his pairing with madhuri dikshit 
<laughs> so sometimes you have to learn to let go. I would have liked to have done more movies with him, but he preferred somebody else. Happens. A leader just moves on yeah. and says, okay, who else can I work with and who I enjoy working with and who excites me as an artist? And here I have to mention three actors. And this is a very favorite thing of mine, which I say, they are the three cheese. C-H-I-S. Chi for Chintu, okay. Rishi Kapoor. Chi for Chichi, Govinda. And Chi for Chiranjeevi from the Telugu movie industry. These three are my absolute favorites. Wow. Wonderful people, very talented, very genuine, and very encouraging to me as an artist. And they brought out the best in me. With Rishi Kapoor and Damini shooting, I just became another person because he was so strong as a co-artist. With Govinda, I have done a couple of drama films and he would always tell me, Minakshi, you should be more glamorous. You're becoming very traditional. Ghar ghar ki kahani karno movies. You should be, you should open your arms to different opportunities. So I learned something from him that People don't want to see you in just one shade. You have to surprise people with the versatility. And um, that's when I started trying different films. I would have loved to have done a movie as a vamp. Yeah. <laughs> but that did not happen. So so before, we, we have four minutes left. One is, how did it feel to be at the peak in Bollywood? I never felt I was at the peak. I always felt I had to go higher. I always felt there were other people as good as me or higher um, and then I figured out sooner or later that it is not what level you are but it is what you become within yourself. Another leadership lesson. Mm -hmm. It's what you become. Mm -hmm. so one tough question. Why sudden stop from Bollywood? I finished Damini and Ghatak and I felt the need for somebody in my life. Apart from work, I had not done much others. I did not socialize or have friends or party. I said, Mom, Dad, I think I want to get married. I want to find that one special person with whom I want to spend the rest of my life. We started looking. There were arranged matches uh, looked at. Wow. There were people Minakshi who... Shushati <laughs> was looking. Looking. <laughs> <laughs> After yes. all this fame and name in Bollywood. Amazing. Okay. Yeah, because I didn't fall in love with any of my colleagues. So I, I, I wanted somebody from a similar family background, middle class, educated, hardworking, good hearted. Um, I found that person in America, in New York. And it was hard to live in India and have a marriage in USA. So I quit. Wow, I quit. It's a big word. For a few years, 25 years. I plan to 25 years change ago. that pretty soon. So is that an announcement to the audience? Look, look me up. I may be in Bollywood. Guys, keep your eyes peeled because the Ice Maiden is coming back. All right. Yes, this is an amazing, what a beautiful story. What a great news. So Minakshi, really, let's quickly touch a little bit on Dallas. A lot of our young talents, kids, they would like to go to Bollywood and do something, right? Everybody does not want to be an IT professional. So any suggestions for them? Yeah. I was talking to friends just before we started our Because in a new. Okay. Yes, and there were two, three good points which were raised. Firstly, how do talented people here find a platform to get trained, to get the smarts? And we don't have acting schools here. We don't have acting boot camps. We don't have workshops. We have a need and a, a possibility. Of opportunity, big opportunity. To do something like that. We have something opportunity for music, singing, dancing, but not for acting. If there are talented people, two things that can happen. They can try to go to India and try their luck. It'll be hard. Very hard. Or somebody from India could come here scouting for talent. Uh, I remember an actress called... We have about 30 seconds. Lisa Ray from Canada made it in India. 
I feel Dallas has a lot of talent. So maybe Fanesha should do something about this. Very, very good uh, ending. So Minashi, before I say goodbye to you, I had an amazing time this evening talking to you. Amazing leadership stories. And thank you so much for taking the time and coming out this evening with Kasan Annu. Thank you for bringing her. And on behalf of Vishali Thakkar and me, thank you on the entire Fanesha team. Thank you, Moody. Have a great day. Here's to leadership. <laughs>